Hey, hey, good evening. Welcome to our first English class. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Okay, excellent. Okay. Blanca, can you hear me? No, you can't hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. Okay, Reve, yes. Okay, yeah. okay. I think, Blanca, do you have problems with your microphone? Yes? Thank you, me. No problem, no problem, Blanca. I just wasn't sure. I saw you. I, I, no problem, Blanca, don't worry. I just wanted to make sure that it's okay that you can hear me and that I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, good. Tatiana, can you hear me? Yes. All right, great. Luis, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, sure. all right, yes. perfect. I, I, I hear you. Excellent, Luis, wonderful. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Is it Leah or Lea? I'm not sure. Hello. Hello? Uh, my name is Lea. 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 It's okay. okay. All right. Thank you, Lea. Great. Nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Lea. Uh, and it's pronounced Ebel. Is that correct? Or Ebel? My name is Ebel. 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 Okay. Thank you very much, Ebel. Nice yeah. I have to say it is the first time in my life in my existence on this planet that I see that name. The first time in, in all the history that I have lived, all of the hours, all of the school, education, and people is the first time I see that name. All right, it's um, Aleman. It is, what, what is it? it? My first name is Aleman. Ah, okay. Okay, it's German. German. German, okay, okay. Your grandparents were from Germany? No, no, no. No, no, no. only no. like the name. My parents is also alive. Ah, yeah, uh-huh, but they like the name. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, we're getting some more people. Thank you, Ebel, thank you. Uh, thank Ricardo, you. can you hear me? We're good? Yeah. All right, excellent, excellent. Jose Sanchez? Good evening, good evening, Jose. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, thank you. Heidi, or I don't know if it's Heidi. Yes, teacher, I can Okay, great. Jocelyn? Yes, teacher, good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening, all right. Abreve had said yes, I think she said that earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, and George Lopez? Okay, so George. Ah, yeah, yes. yeah, teacher. Okay, okay. Good evening, yeah. everyone. Good evening. Okay. All right. Thank you. Carla? Yes, I can hear you. Wonderful. Medardo? Yes. Okay, Nadal. All right. Uh, Guillermo? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Wonderful. And Pedro? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Uh, all right. Good evening, group. Good evening. Lucia, can you hear me? Anna, can you hear me? I think Lucia can't hear me. Okay, so I think we have only two people that have a little bit of problems with the connection, Anna and Lucia. Okay, everybody else, we seem to be okay, but okay, at least we, 
we'll try to figure out their connection in a moment. Okay. All right. Let's let me try one more time. I see Lucia's video. Lucia, can you hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Good. We got that. We got it connecting. I I see only the issue then with Anna that it still says connecting, connecting. So sometimes that that gives a problem that you can't hear me or that I can't hear you. But everybody else is great. So let's begin. My name is Edwin, and I am going to be your teacher this module. Okay. Um, a little bit about myself. I have been teaching for more than two decades. That means more than 20 years. I have been teaching. I have taught in two countries. I have taught in the US. I was originally a teacher there. Um, I was a mathematics teacher and then I came to El Salvador and I became a language teacher. Okay, a foreign language teacher here in El Salvador. Um, I, I have lived in the US for several years, but now I live here uh, with my family, my wife and my children. Uh, well, most of my children uh, that live here with me. Um, besides that, I really like teaching. I enjoy my job. I have worked in many different types of organizations. I have worked in NGOs. I have worked in schools. I have worked in academies um, like the American school or the British schools or the uh, Augusto Walte or the different, you know, uh, different schools or sectors around. I've worked for, um, I have worked for USAID and interpretations and translations. So many different ideas. So feel confident that I will be able to help you and I will be able to assist you if you have a question, okay? And that's the most important. The most important is you feel confident and you feel safe in speaking. Yes, you are going to make mistakes. It's normal. It's part of the learning process. Also part of the learning process is being corrected and being helped in order to stop making the same mistakes, okay? My job is to help you with those mistakes, to identify them and to show you, ah, you need to do this, you need to change this, practice this, do this, okay? That's kind of, it's like a trainer. It's almost like the trainer when you go to the gym or you do exercises. He tells you because he can observe or they can see what you need to do to improve. It's the same for me, okay? But in order for me to help you, you need to speak, you need to work, you need to practice, okay? Don't worry. Yes, you're going to make mistakes. It's normal. But there are two different things. And one is being scared to make a mistake and not speaking. And then the other is speaking and not worrying. I say go for the speaking and not worrying. Because always, always, even in Spanish, people make mistakes. I know people that are 40, 50, they have a master's degree and they still make mistakes, okay? It's okay. It's not bad to make mistakes. The bad is not to accept and correct them. That is the problem. The problem is when you don't want to correct the mistakes, that's, that's when it becomes difficult, okay? So we are going to be together for one module, well, at least for this module to begin with this year, which is five sections, okay? First, does everyone, is this, uh, has everyone taken classes from InsaForp online before? Do you know how the platform works? Yes. 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 Yes, I do. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Okay, all right. Okay. Then I don't have to, but is there anyone here that is the first time they take a class online? Is the first time they take the class with InsaForp? Uh, me, it's my first time. It's your first time. Okay, well then let me, me X. Oh, okay, we have two people. Perfect. Okay, well then let me explain everything so that it's clear. If you have any questions, then you can ask so that we are, everybody starts the same. Okay, here, our classes are into five modules. Now, that does not mean that we have one week for each module. The course is four weeks long. The classes are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So we have, in four weeks, we have to complete the five sections. Here, you can see that each section is divided into subsections, okay? That means that there are exercises, activities, or homeworks that you need to do. That's for each section. 
So as you can see, if I click in section one, these are all of the exercises that you see that I need to complete for that section. Now with five sections, that means that we're going to be doing a little bit more than one per week. Okay. When we get to section three, not only do we have the section, we also have a midterm. The midterm is an exam of the evaluation of unit one, two, and three. When we get to section five, we have a final exam. That final exam is an evaluation of everything, unit one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. In order to pass this module or in order to pass this course, you need to receive a grade of 80, 80, 80 or more. So that means that if you get a 70 in the next activity, you need to get a 90. Okay. The best is to try to average an 80. The good thing is that it's not only one time and then it's locked. If you make a mistake, you can do the exercise again and again until you have a better grade. Okay. For this moment, are there any questions? Uh, my case, no teacher, I don't have a question. No question, teacher. Okay, all right, perfect. So we understand four weeks, minimum 80. You can check your advancement. You can check your grades where it says progress. In the part on the top where it says progress, you click and then you can see all of the exercises, all of the homework. You can see the results of the midterm, the final, and you can check in each section to see if you are completing or if you are missing any activities, okay? This is from the part where it says progress in the top. Besides that, the rest is just the course, okay? Now, also in this course, we have different activities. Um, some of the activities that we have are group, for example, the entire class, a reading or exercise, but we also have what are called little breakout rooms or other, a little bit of other smaller rooms, okay? Now, when we have those smaller rooms, you're going to receive an invitation all you have to do is hit accept and automatically you're going to go to another it's in the zoom but it's going to be another zoom where it's only a small group okay so as an example uh, we're going to try in this moment so that you understand how it works and then only for you to understand and then we return uh, what happens is we make little groups you're going to I'm going to divide these. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Okay. And all you have to do is hit accept. You should receive an invitation. Okay. All I want to do is first to see if everybody can join into the groups and make sure that everybody understands how to use it and how it works. Ebel, okay. Uh, Medardo, Lucia, Ebel, are you having problems entering? Okay, good. Ebel's gone. Lucia, Medardo. Okay. Lucia, Merdardo, any questions? Hello? Hello, Leah.
I'm sorry, is it Al Alan? Al Alain? Yes, Alain. Alain? Yes. Okay, thank you. Alain. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, Alain, similar to uh, the, the other student, uh, Evel, Alain, I have to say is, I have seen that name, but not with the eye. I have seen it written differently. Um, yes, it's a rare name. <laughs> yes, it's a yes. French name, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, I have seen it in, in other teachers. And, and it's funny that you say that because the other teacher worked at the French school. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. That, that, that's why I, I say, hey, that I name. I was about that, about I, my name. Yeah. Yeah, I say, hey, that name I seen before, but not Salvadorian. I I say that was. I, yeah, of uh, course, it's uh, not Salvadorian. Uh huh. French one. That that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think er, almost everybody was able to access the other the smaller groups without any problems. Um, there were two people that had a little bit of difficulty. Um but I will help them and, and try to make it so that it's easier for them in the coming classes in the other modules. Did anybody have any problems or any questions about those smaller groups? No, they don't have, don't have a problem. Okay. Oh. Yeah. No, yeah, no, no, we don't have I problems. I talk very well with Ricardo. Hey, excellent, excellent. I don't <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let me explain the, the, the objective of those smaller rooms. The objective of those smaller rooms or those breakout rooms is to give you the opportunity to speak more, to give you the opportunity to listen in a smaller setting. Because if we have everybody in this group speak, it's impossible. You speak one or two minutes and then all of the class, you listen because the other person two minutes, the other person two minutes, and only with 10 people is 20 minutes. And look, we are a lot of people. We are 20 people, 20 people. So only with two minutes is 40 minutes of the class gone. So maybe you don't have opportunity to speak with all of your partners every day. I'm sorry, but you have the opportunity to speak every day. And that for me is more important. Maybe not with everybody, maybe a group of three, maybe sometimes four, but you have the opportunity to speak a lot. So instead of speaking two minutes, ah, now we change the dynamic and now you can speak 20 minutes and then 20 minutes in a group of three, ah, it's 60 minutes, it's perfect. But in the other form, only two or three minutes. So that's why we do those groups. Now, to start off our, the idea for today is just to, to make sure that we're clear. You need to make sure that you work in the platform. That is the grade. That is the evaluation from the platform. You need to have 80 or more. Uh, we have a WhatsApp group. Thank you very much for those that answered. It was great to meet you too. Some people were able to answer into the WhatsApp group. I saw uh, Ricardo, Blanca, Alain, uh, someone. I have no idea who it is. I think it was Luis. I think yeah. it says, right, right, Luis? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I saw Luis put in there. Yes. And yeah. Luis that says, hey, see you soon. So uh -huh. great. If you have a question, if you have something, sometimes we have two forms to communicate. We have uh, the modern form, the WhatsApp, okay, that you can just write. And if I am available, I will answer. I'm going to be honest. If it's after the class or if it's late at night, I probably won't answer. But I will answer you probably the next day, okay? So I say because sometimes some people put message, they don't sleep, and then at one in the morning, hey, teacher, I'm on exercise four, and it's one in the morning. Mm, I have to be honest. I sleep at one in the morning. I, I, so it's, I, I, it's, I'm not going to answer. But I will get to you sooner or later. Or sometimes maybe another classmate has the same question. And that's why we use the WhatsApp because maybe the question for Lea is the same question that Eduardo has. And then, or maybe Eduardo has the answer for Tatiana's question. Or maybe Tatiana did the exercise and she had a problem and Jocelyn can help her. These are, that's the idea for the WhatsApp. But of course, we also have the class. And in the class is to help you with those exercises, those activities that you say, oops, 
I need this. I, I almost have, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do in this section, okay? Are there any questions at this moment? If you don't have it, remember, you can check, give me a sec, I need my charger. You can check the uh, email that you receive and in the email, you're going to find it, okay? It's part of the links in the email for, uh, for the courses. You're gonna see the WhatsApp group. I cannot add you, you have to click on the link and then automatically you can join, okay? Hey, great, I see a couple more people. We got Lea, Jorge, eh, HBB, okay, I don't know who that is. Uh, I, for me, HBB is hola, bebe, but hey, nice to see you too. I don't know who it is, but uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Pedro also, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's okay, it's a good idea. <laughs> I, 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 Spanish, I, bebe. Yeah, right. I, I, I don't know. Uh huh. I don't know. Hello, baby. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, but I always think positive. The idea is always you think positive. Why? Why negative? It's ah. a dream. It's a dream, teacher. It, it's a dream. <laughs> it's a dream. It's a dream. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, first, I except for two people that are new. Do all of you know each other? Have you been together in the courses before? Uh, take a look at the at, at the the list of the names. Do you does everyone know each other or no? Is new? You are new for many people. New. New. We have Luis. You say some some are new. Alain. New. New. New also. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, for yes, Evel. New. 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 Oh, wow. Excellent. It's a perfect activity then. All right. We are going to make our breakout rooms. And in our breakout rooms, we're going to have an introduction. Please, we are not going to have a personal introduction. This is not going to be my friend, my friend, my hello, my friend. No, this is going to be a professional. Like if you are into interview at a job when you go and you apply for a job, when the manager says, okay, uh, thank you for coming to for this application, tell me about yourself exactly in this form. If you go professionally to a job interview, if you apply and they say, tell me about yourself, what do you say? We're going to start practicing because the idea is you are going to use your English in the future, professionally, or maybe even now to apply for a job. So let's begin today applying. So. For those that are new, what do you tell? What is your experience? Where do you work? Uh, what are you good at? What can you help? Things like this, right? Yes. It's, it's okay, any questions? It's okay. No. Nope. No question. Not problem. Okay. Oh, all right, okay, all right. So remember, you are going to introduce yourself professionally and your partner is going to ask you the follow-up questions. Your partner, it's okay to ask your partner questions. Um, would Does anybody would like to try a, a, an example here? Would anybody like to try to do one here so that everybody understands how to do it? Lucia, you look happy. Why don't, thank you for volunteering. I like that. I like the happy people volunteer. Thank you, Lucia. Mm -hmm. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> the questions do you do you tell us tell introduce yourself imagine you go to the job interview and they say uh, oh uh, thank you for coming please tell me about yourself uh, hi everyone my name is Gabriela Lucia Pacheco mm, uh, usually I use the name Lucia is um Better for me. Um, I'm a student for university. I'm studying a second year of engineer. Um, now I am happy uh, to uh, volunteer in Team Marine. So that's take my time and I will study English in the night. Thank you very much, Lucia. Luis, please ask Lucia two questions from what she said. Uh, about it. 
Lucia, uh, how many uh, years do you have experience in your job? Um, experience in job uh, now. <laughs> I am happy to a uh, job, so don't start. Don't start now. <laughs> Okay, so in this moment, only apply for Ting Marin, not work in Ting Marin. No work. Uh -huh. Is that correct, Lucia? Yeah. Where, where yeah, do you? That is... He say volunteer. Volunteer, volunteer. right? Volunteer. Yes. Right? volunteer, yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where do you live, uh, Lucia? Um, I live in Mexicanos. Okay. 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 Thank you. That's it. You see? That's the idea, okay? <laughs> we just want to, the important, the, the most important is to feel confident in ourselves, in our fluency, in our intonation, in our pronunciation. That's what we're going to do, okay? So I'm going to give each group, each group is going to have 10 minutes, only 10 minutes in the group to present and talk about everybody and ask the questions that you want. All right, let's okay. go. All right, only accept the invitation and let's begin. Medardo, do you have any problems? I know you had difficulty the last time connecting. Lucia, are you okay? Can you connect? Okay. Lucia Merdalerto, I'm going to check on the other groups. If you have any questions, please ask or please write to me, okay? I'm going to check in the other groups. If you want, raise your hand or write and I will see the messages. Hello, teacher. Hello, George. Uh, hey, Ricardo. My, my... Hi, teacher. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, are you engineers? Uh, are you system engineer, Jorge? Uh, I I don't uh, no. Uh, I technical. Okay. Okay. Ricardo, one more time. Uh, the question no is not are. Sorry, not have is are. Are you? Are you? Are you? Mm -hmm. Always yeah. for for professions, for uh, jobs or locations is are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, um, my name is Ricardo Antonio Ramirez. And I engineer. And I have a 20, 22, um, 22 years in a construction building. And um, I am manager, and in this moment, I'm um, studying English. I live in Santa Tecla, and I have two children. Um, so, and, and I work in um, Brazil, Bolivar. I'm sorry, Ricardo, you work where? And I work in Inversión de Bolívar. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. George, do you have any questions for Ricardo? Uh, 
What's your favorite uh, entertainment? Uh, well, my favorite entertainment is um, play basketball. The teaching. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, someday I'm going to be a teacher, right? Uh, but uh -huh. yeah, obviously I had I I had to work. Even that reason, I had to travel to San Salvador and work there because uh, my family needs money. You, you know that. Yeah. Right? Jose, yeah, um, where, Jose, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Cincinnati. I, I, I live in San Salvador too because I work there. And, and it, but really, I, I'm from Cincinnati. Okay. Okay. And when you find a job, do you want to find a job in Sonsonate or in San Salvador? Uh, I find my job in, in San Salvador. In San Salvador? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in San Salvador I work. You don't want Sonsonate? Uh, no, but, but the reason is the, is the COVID, the coronavirus, right? The, 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 this problem is Sonsonate is, is very difficult to find a job. For that reason, uh, I, had to, I had to go to San Salvador and obviously try to work there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard. It's hard in this moment. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah it's very difficult. Uh -huh. Okay. And what about you, Guillermo? Um, ask, ask me something. I don't know. Tell me about yourself, Guillermo. Come on. I don't know you. What do you um, do? Where do you live? What do you study? What do you want to do? I, I am studying a marketing technician in Universidad Evangelica. Uh, I live in San Salvador, Mexicano. Uh, I want to apply for a good job uh, in a place where you need to have English skills. And that's the reason why I'm taking this course with Insafor. Okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead. I'll let you guys continue talking. I'll check in the other groups. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's called, uh, uh, I, I, I think it's called at the midnight. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. At the midnight of, of, of 3 a.m. I don't know. It's called, but I camp in there in December 26th. Uh, in our day, yes, no. Yeah, yeah, a lot of calls. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember very well, Saul. In, in that Monte Cristo forest, we can we can see three front frontier. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Three Guatemala and Salvador. Uh -huh. Yes, it's in Mon it's in Monte Cristo. The name ah, okay, is Trifinio. Uh, I don't know. It's correct. Trifinio. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> The, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but video okay. is uh, is I don't uh, don't use the the gloves or or lens. Yes, is the 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 education is difficult education in this moment. Yeah, education in the people and I am a supervision in in a. Um, a state a, a, a office in my a security um, uh, bastante buena la salvamos very good very good, very good. Uh, you... Abel is supervisor supervision is the action I am a supervisor yes yeah, supervision supervisor. is the action Supervision is the action. You are okay. a supervisor. Supervisor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good thing. Establecimientos? Um, saludables? Establecimientos saludables? The establishments are normally referred to like uh, uh, shops or places or stores, but okay. in special. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Establecimientos. Or especially. Okay. Special. And the security station. 
That's correct. Yes, it, it's okay. because the, it, it has to do with this, the first, the adjective, for example, uh, you know, uh, medical security or whatever, and then the type, if it's a store, a shop, a garage, that type of thing. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not exactly like in Spanish where it's only one word. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. My work and, uh, is a uh, is a uh, education the people on the. Yeah. If I was agree for that change, but I say them yes, but I'm tired <laughs> because I arrived late from my from my job. What do you do, Rebe? Excuse me. What do you do? Uh, I'm working in a in a call center. Oh, that's great! Which call center? Indigo. Ha oh, <laughs> ha! Do you know? Yeah, I know. I know Indigo. And which <laughs> which account? Terra Texas. Ah, hey, Revit. So next year you're going to the U.S. Mm, I don't know. I don't. I don't have visa. <laughs> But that's part of the program for total taxes. The total taxes, they go to the US. I don't know, they never uh, talk, talk about that. Yeah, uh, the last year they had 50, no, 40, 40, 47 uh, uh, agents. They went to the US. Mm, I don't remember that, but yeah. I, uh, yeah. I was working with them. Uh, mm -hmm. At the beginning of the year, but for the coronavirus, we finished the work there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They worked last year and the year before that also. They they mm -hmm. and in December, in if I remember correctly, in December they had like 20, 22 people from yeah. from from that like from that account. They went to the U.S. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's it's all it's also in the newspaper. It's also from uh, El Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores. It's El Ministerio mm -hmm. de Trabajo, and they put uh, uh, working with Indigo. The people have gone to the U.S., and these are the the clients. I don't know, but I never hear about that. I used working in the in the technical support. Oh, the oh that's why. Uh -huh. That's that's why you're in the technical support area. Yeah. Okay. So TurboTax has the other area that is the accounting area. No, no, no. You say TurboTax, but I'm working in Toro Toro, Taxes. Sorry, sorry, Toro Taxes. Toro uh -huh. Taxes. That's right. In Toro Taxes. Toro Taxes has the other that is for the accountants. And the uh -huh. account and for those that are accountants, they are the ones that go to the US from that account. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. But you can, um, maybe, maybe in the future, if you're interested, you can ask. Because they go, I, I know they go and they make, they make pretty good money. They make several thousand dollars a month when they go to the U.S. It's a really good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like, Something like, um, I think it was the four months, it was like $15,000 or something like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I could be happy with it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I, I know several people that went and they, they return and then the rest of the year they relax in El Salvador and then they continue there. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. But maybe for the COVID they stopped, but that was the idea. Okay. Yeah. The COVID was a really, really good, really big problem. <laughs> yeah, for everyone, for everyone. All right, yeah. let's go back to the main groups. You ready, Leah? Yeah. You're on mute, but I see the mouth moving, Leah. Don't worry. All right, excellent. Uh, we have several people back. Not everybody, but we have several people back. Sorry, teacher. No problem, Leah, don't worry, I see it. Okay, so as you can see, 
that's the function of our breakout rooms is to give us an opportunity to have a little bit more time to speak and to be able to get a little bit more comfortable with ourselves and our partners. Today, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, first, I want to make sure, does everyone have access to the platform? Did everybody, can everybody enter their platform and go to the uh, pre-advanced module or is somebody having difficulty? No, okay, so then I understand it's okay for everyone then. All right, good. All right, so as you can see in our lesson objective is we're going to be able to use the relative pronouns, uh, who and that as subjects, okay? So what does that mean? That means that we're using those words, the words who and that, but we're going to use them at the beginning or as the main idea of the sentence. Okay, and we're going to learn how to do that through different videos, uh, different exercises and activities. Okay, so first we have our first video, which is the relative pronouns. One more time. Those are who or that. Okay, so when we talk about the, uh, these words, is this is the main idea of what we're talking about. So as an example, um, let's see. Lea. Yes. Hello. Hello, Leah. Okay. Here I am. <laughs> Leah, are you married? Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I am married. Okay. And what do you like about your husband? Um, mm. Mm, nothing. Okay. No problem. <laughs> it's okay. It's very handsome. It's very handsome. Really? It's really. I don't Anna's care. Anna's My husband Anna's is Anna's very handsome. Anna's Anna's laughing. Look, yes. Anna's laughing. Anna's laughing. Yes. Anna, Anna yes. says no. Anna <laughs> says no. <laughs> it's very handsome. Okay. It's really. Okay. And oh, so uh, in my case, I, I like. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Perfect. Perfect. And that is the case of the relative pronoun. That is the case. Okay. In general, in general, you like men, right? Mm -hmm. But what men? I, I like men who are handsome. You don't like men who are ugly, right? <laughs> or you don't like men who are small. Maybe you like men who are tall. Maybe you like men who are uh, funny. Maybe you like men who are handsome, okay? That is the idea of the relative pronoun. That's how we use it in a normal conversation. We talk about the main idea, the men, the food, the women, the cars, whatever, the main topic. And then you only give what about that topic, okay? As another example, uh, let's see, we have, who else do we have here? Hey, Luis, all right, Luis, I see you are there. You look sad, Luis. No, time to wake up, Luis, let's go. All right, Luis. Yes. Do you like food? Yes, I, I like food. What food do you like, Luis? Um. Yeah, a typical food, for example, uh, los rellenos de, de jote, you know, in Spanish, in English, I don't know, the whiskey. Don't, don't worry, you, you go <laughs> ahead. Uh-huh, uh -huh. and uh, bean soup too. Okay, and that is the way that Luis uses relative pronouns in normal conversation. I like typical food, okay? That's the, t I like food, for example, okay? I like food that is typical for El Salvador. Yeah. Okay. Because if Luis says, I like typical food, ah, from China? Hmm. Do you like the rats? Do you like the, the snakes? Do you like the different? No, no, no. I like tip. I like the food that is typical from El Salvador. Okay. Yeah. That is how we use it. So as you can see, we tend to use who for people, like in the case of Lea, and we tend to use that for things, like in the case of Luis. Okay, one more example, and then we watch the video. Tatiana, do you like teddy bears? Excuse me? Do you like teddy bears? Very well. I don't know. Very well. There. Osito. Behind you? Osito. Osito. Teddy bears. Osito. The bear. Osito. 
Look, 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 look behind you. Ah. Baguio. <laughs> Euro, Eurocito. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, that's the one. That's the one. Yes. 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 Do you, yes. Do you like them? Yes. Which 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 ones do you like? Do you like um, big, small? Um, what do you like? Different animals? Do you like when they are present from your boyfriend and he says, ah, baby, for you. And you're, ah. what, what do you like, Tatiana? No, but uh, my niece, uh, I, my niece um, give me for birthday. Hey, there you go. Okay. And that's how we use. I like teddy bears that are presents. I like teddy bears that come from my family. I like teddy bears that I receive. That is the one. It's not that Tatiana likes teddy bears. She doesn't go and buy teddy bears. No, but she likes to receive when they are presents. Does that make sense? Who for people when we talk about the topic and that for things, okay? Now let's watch a video and maybe that will help us to understand a little bit more how to use the relevant. Hello everyone. In this class, you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples and at the end of the class, I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. They aren't too serious. That's the second piece of information. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two pieces of information. And we do this by using the relative pronouns. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who aren't too serious. Or you could say, I like guys that aren't too serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. The first example states, I like guys they aren't too serious. And what we do is, if you notice in gray up here, and I actually colored that in blue in the bottom, because that's what I want to focus on. Um, here, this statement here could vary, it could change to different things, right? Like you can say, I like guys, I like friends, okay? I like people. So that could vary. You could change that to whatever you want. You can have another phrase there, like I uh, like to hang around people, I like to be with friends, etc. That phrase could change, not just necessarily I like guys. And then they aren't too serious. Um, in this case, I want you to notice that we're using adjectives, right? So whenever you use adjectives, what you're going to have in this uh, second statement is going to be uh, the verb to be either positive or negative, okay? Um, and then the and then that's going to follow the adjective. And so what I want you to notice at this time is how we take these two pieces of information and we combine them together with the usage of the relative pronouns who or that. So let me give that example now. I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys that aren't too serious. Now, what I want to explain here is that you can either use the relative pronoun who or you can use the relative pronoun that. And also what I want you to notice is that in um, this statement, so they will disappear. The pronoun here is they, that disappear. And we changed it to they, uh, to, and we changed it to who, or we changed it to that. Okay, so I like guys who aren't too serious. This is on our first example. Let me talk about the second example now. 
and the reason this one is different is because we're no longer going to use adjectives. Uh, so that changes a little bit. Uh, but again, it's the same concept as previously. What we want to do here is we want to combine two pieces of information. What are those two pieces of information? Well, I like guys. That's one piece of information. And then they have a good sense of humor. Now, in this case, notice that we're using a verb. Um, and that's because we're using a noun to uh, mention the kind of people that we like to hang around with. So I like guys or I like friends. I mentioned that you can change this to whatever you like. Um, that phrase could change to something else as well. So I like the way that you would change this is to say something similar will happen, and that is that uh, the uh, pronoun on the second uh, piece of information will disappear, and that will disappear by either who or by using that. So in other words, the statement will state, I like guys that have a good sense of humor, or I like guys who have a good sense of humor. Now let me get you to do a few examples. I'm, we're going to do one last one together and then I'm going to have you do a few more. We want to take these two pieces of information. I like to meet people. They are sociable. So we got two pieces of information and what we want to do here is we want to put these two together. We're just going to remove the pronoun they and we're going to change it for a relative pronoun either who or that so that was quite simple i like to meet people who are sociable and i mentioned you can either say i like to meet people that are sociable I know the video of the voice isn't that exciting, but I hope it helps you understand a little bit what is the purpose. The purpose is that we combine two sentences. We take our first sentence, I like, I don't like, I enjoy, I love, I hate. This is the first part. One, your expression, okay? Whatever your opinion is. Second is the topic. I love food. Okay, I like sports. I love uh, you know, whatever it is. Okay, this is the first one. Or maybe it's not positive. Maybe it's negative. I don't like whatever. I hate. I dislike. This is the first. First, your opinion. Second, the topic. And the third part is where you combine with who or that. What they are trying to explain, in case it's not clear, is we use who for people only but we use that for things or people so that is always correct but who is only correct with people okay so if you are not clear or if you're not sure use that if you are clear use who or that because who only people that for people or things does that make sense? Okay, so we're going to practice a few together to make sure that it's clear for the group, okay? So you're going to make any statement that you want, okay? I like, I don't like, I love, I enjoy, okay? So as an example, uh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, are you there? Can you turn on your microphone, Jocelyn? I have problems with the internet. No problem, Jocelyn. Thank you for telling me. We are going to, as long as you can, uh, you can hear us, it's going to be okay. Carla, no problem, Jocelyn, don't worry. Carla, are you there? Hi, yes. All right, Carla, perfect. Carla, what's something that you like or that you love? I like go to the movies. Okay. So we know that Carla likes movies in general, right? She likes going to the movies. Okay. Now, that's how she begins. 
First, her opinion, I like. Then the topic, I like movies. And now we use the pronoun. For movies, what do you think we're going to use? Who or that? That. Excellent. That's right. We use that because it's a thing. Thing. It's a yes. thing. So, Carla, you, what kind of movies do you like? Um, the uh, suspense. Ah, okay. And that, Carla, can you make the complete sentence now using that? Yes. I like movies that suspense, maybe. Yes, but only the, the word is that are that have suspense. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. Thank you, Pedro. That's right, because suspense is that with have. That's right. Okay. Okay. So Carla likes movies that have suspense. You see her opinion, the topic, and then she has to make the decision. Who for people, that for things. And then her idea, her compliment. Would anyone like to try to make sure that they understand how to do it correctly? Don't worry, that's why you try. You try so that to see if you understand, to see if you can practice it correctly. Hey, Ricardo, you look like you want to volunteer. I like that. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. All right. I I like watch um, uh, game basketball. Okay. All right. Now for this one, Ricardo cannot use the relative pronoun. Why? Because Ricardo has a specific sport. I like to watch basketball, but. If Ricardo says, I like to watch, okay, okay, ah, this is different because now it's general. What do you like to watch? I like to watch uh, programs that are sports. Ah, then it's possible, okay? okay? But when you are specific, is not appropriate this grammar structure. This grammar structure is not for specific. This one is for general. That's for general terms. All right, thank you, Ricardo. Okay, who else wants to volunteer? Eduardo, hey, hey Eduardo, all right. Oh, you're on mute or we can't hear you. Can anyone hear Eduardo? No. Oh, teacher. Ah. Uh, it's okay, Eduardo. You can we can try to fix for tomorrow. It's no problem. It's no problem. We have time for one more. Anybody else would like to volunteer? Like to try one more time and see if they can do it correctly? Ah, everybody is scared. Don't be scared. Evel, show them how to do it. Show them you are not scared. Show them how is not scared. Go ahead. Okay, teacher, I like, um, I love uh, um, taking and climbing mountain. Repeat one more time, Evel. Do you love turkey? I, I love taking. Senderismo, taking, mm -hmm. and climbing on time. Okay, very good. You are correct, trekking. I, but the, the second word, the second word is climbing. Climbing, climbing yes. Climbing. Okay, okay, right. Now, you see, as the same as Ricardo, Abel cannot use this grammar structure because she is specific, okay? Tomorrow, we're going to practice using this structure so we understand the difference when and how to use it. Remember, this structure is for general things, not for specific. For example, I like, um, I like people. I, like, I, don't like, uh, I don't like places. I like movies. I hate uh, cars. I don't like cities. I hate planes. Oh, 
okay? This is for general, not for a specific thing, okay? In this case, it's for. Oh, for it's example, for. yes, for example, Leah. Leah put an example in the chat. That is correct, Leah. That I like pupusas, yeah. but not all pupusas. No, she That's is. Good. Yes, she likes pupusas that well. are made in comal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for making the effort for joining me. I know we have uh, one or two technical problems, but we'll try to find them and solve them. Please, if you have time, uh, look at the platform, try to advance. So if you have any questions, I can help you tomorrow. Okay? All right, okay. guys. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Tomorrow, tomorrow.